What's up guys, my name is Melvin Gregg and welcome to another episode of A Guy's Perspective. Today we have a very special guest, a dear friend of mine. Help me welcome Daystorm Power. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighbor. Which way do I go? That way. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. You know the rest of the song? No, 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 no. I just know that nigga took off his shoes. Mine? Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> He's That's the it. first person to take off his shoes on TV. I know he put on the sweater <laughs> and too. And then he changed his sweater too. <laughs> man, he was killing the game. Oh, he's no. OG. OG. What up? Not much, man. What's up with you? Everything and nothing. Just wrapped this long, crazy shoot. So, you know, badass squad. Y'all y'all shot how many episodes and how long? We shot 10 episodes in a week. 10. That's massive. Massive. Um, so, it's going to be the uh, biggest series in the world. Okay. Next, next to court. Or bigger. I, I think it's I think it's gonna do better than caught. When we when we did caught, I said it was gonna be nominated for two streams. It was nominated for four and one two. So now I want uh, Bad Escorts to win um, uh, a, an Emmy or two. Okay. And then caught season two to come back and win some Emmys. And I mean, if your track record is good as last time, that means you're gonna win four Emmys. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, wait. you double, you double your expectations last time. Right? Double down. Well, I want to. We'll be nominated for four. We okay, two. and one, two. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so, man. Hey, that's dope. Yeah, so hey, that's big. And um, uh, <laughs> where, where, where can we find this bad escorts? So bad escorts is gonna live on Zeus. It's a platform that myself, Lemmy, uh, he's a TV producer, dope television producer. A lot of people are um, going to get to know him real soon. King Batch and the Man of Cerny was starting a, a subscription video on demand platform called Zeus. Okay. And it drops first quarter, hopefully, if everyone gets their com content in. We're going to drop 25 shows at the top of the year Ooh. with 25 of your favorite creators in okay. the world. Yeah. So, for you guys who don't know what a subscription based uh, video on demand platform is, it's something similar to a Netflix or a Hulu or Amazon. Yep. You guys have created a new one. It's called Zeus. Zeus. We was gonna actually call it something else, but the names were cheesy, and then I was like, it's gotta be something like a great god. It's gotta be like I was like, who's the who's the biggest god? And it was like, and then I was like, we gotta call it Zeus. Zeus. So like when Zeus comes out, because we want it to be the biggest thing, so it's like, fuck it, we gotta go with Zeus. Good good decision, man. I approve of that one. Thank you. One of the things we do here, we like to talk about things that guys and girls commonly disagree on, and we give a complete, honest guy's perspective, because a lot of women out here really don't know what we be thinking. Right. Let's welcome in Jordan Coleman. Okay, 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 okay. Where's, where, where's Jordan? Women always late, man. Women always late. That's the guy's perspective. In the spirit. Oh, there you go. Already? Talk to already? What's up, Jordan? Hi. What's How are up? You? All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. That's not like a Will of Fortune, bro. This is a much, much more. I feel like I should be standing like way more like. Yeah. <laughs> How important is the body count? That's a good question. Okay. Damn. How mm. important? Oh, you mean for guys or for girls? Both. Both. I, I, I personally think that you, you don't ask about the body count. You, I, I don't think girls should ask a guy about his body count because. They always get their heart broken when they ask a guy about his body count. Because guys, they go through this freak phase. Girls got their freak phase too, but I don't think it's as deep as a guy's freak phase. I think you you guys are more curious because I think guys worry about the physical more than more and females worry about the emotional more. Mm -hmm. So um, I think women need to keep their legs closed a little more um, okay. and not have such a big body count. So basically, a guy can have a big body count, but a girl need to have a little body count. I just think that's, I don't think that that's right, but I think that's how society uh, uh, set it up. I do agree with that. I, I feel like it's a double standard, and it's based on uh, a social standard that women should, women should be more, should be less promiscuous, and guys have the freedom to do as they please. And I feel like it's a stereotype set up by men. You know, if I can I make up a stereotype, I, I'll be like, yo, let me do whatever I want. And my woman, she can't do anything. But I feel like, you know, that's that's what's been around for so long that it's kind of imprinted in our minds. The guys that, you know, we look up to, they got all the women. I looked up to Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air when I was little, he had all the girls. Oh, yeah. I was like, yo, I want all the girls like Will. Don't you I think it's changing though? Like, don't you think like women, cause now like, I don't want to be married at 22. I want to I wanna experience my 20s with as many people as possible. 
and then get married. Because back in the day, like, people used to, like, get married, like, right out of high school, like, be with one person, wait, have their virginity with the person that they marry. I'm like, I think that's kind of weird to, like, because then you're, what, 10 years in the marriage and you only had sex with one person? I, th I think girls need to try various dicks um, to see which one she likes. Try you different know, size, see which one fits. See which one fits. You know, it's like a shoe. Um, I don't have. I, I've dated women who who had miles on them. I don't have a problem with it. Like I'm, I'm securing my masculinity and, and my manhood enough to know that women should. I don't think she should be going around being have a, a brothel. But I think yeah. if a woman is sleeping with a few guys or whatever, just to see what she likes or what her thing is, she has an experience. She knows because like you don't want. You, last thing you want to be married to super curious. You know, <laughs> Kathy. She's yeah. like, hey. You sure it's a party, all the dudes give you that look? Yeah. You know, just be, just be, just be honest. I, I don't think you should ask, though. No, I agree. If they lie, you're not going to know the difference. You're not. Like, but so what's the point is... of even asking? You can move to a new state. Right, you just moved it, right? Yeah. From where? Florida. You moved from Florida. You don't you know what she did. You could have been in Florida going dumb, like, going stupid She's right like, i was going wild and then you could come here don't nobody know you could be like yo i had i had a boyfriend for six years i've had sex with two people i don't know the difference right i don't know the difference and like so don't even ask just leave it alone like my thing is what's the what, what's the difference if i have 50 versus five yeah it's, it's, yeah, okay. it's, I guess 50 is a lot from a guy's perspective if a woman's had sex with 50 guys men like to have some type of exclusivity. They want to feel like yeah, they, they conquered exclusive. something. But yeah. if everybody has it, like, they saw, I never seen the shoes before. People buy Louis Vuitton shoes because everyone can't afford them. But you got some fly ass shacks that come from Walmart that cost $6. And even though they might be the best looking shoe you ever seen, you really don't want them because anybody can have it. Right, you, get you want something that, that's, you know, that's, that's hard to access. What if you do it, you do it a little more selectively? Cause you know, like I can LA, like, I just realized how small LA is. It's very here. small. So like I could have like someone in New York, someone in Chicago, someone in Florida, rather than 15 people in LA. You see, Cause like, then everybody gets to talking and you go to a club or you go to a, a, a outing and they were like, yeah, I smashed your show. Right, but if I got people in different area codes, <laughs> <laughs> you, get you don't a, know what I, I'm on. You. I've got holes in different area codes. Area yeah, your frequent fly miles would be good. crazy. Then you good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, own what you do. Yeah. Own what you do. If you own what you do, you'll get a lot more respect. If you just own what you do, that's that. That's what it boils down to. Because society's right. not going to change. Own what you do. Hi right, guys, welcome back. I don't know if you guys know, but Day Storm is a award-winning musician. He has two gold records. He has an American Music Award. I think he was one of the pioneers of doing music on YouTube. Yeah. Another day, another challenge. Another day, another challenge. I got written on my arm too. A lot of people don't know. This they is... give you a challenge, and you will make a song based on whatever the challenge is. They, they would, they would. Uh, some of the crazy stuff I did, they were like, I challenged you to jump out of a plane and rap on the way to the ground. So I hired two camera guys. We went up in the plane and I jumped out and rapped on the way to the ground. You can find that on YouTube. Wrapped underwater. That's some fly bars. In a battle. So it's just like, just throwing crazy it shit to get bars. your numbers up. So that was back in the day on YouTube. All right, so we are gonna have a little challenge for you today. You're not gonna be hopping out of plane and nothing like that. But we're gonna have a, a little wooden bowl and you're gonna pick out three random words. Okay. And they still gonna freestyle you using those words. You got a beat for us, they still? Damn. Damn. Somebody needs a beat. You got beats? Yeah, you got beats. Uh, the word is dilemma. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, be selective on a guy's perspective. This is my dilemma. Things about the tremor. Yeah. Watch the lights get dimmer. They storm on the kitchen, I'ma simmer like, yeah. I throw it like Simba, huh? That's the son of the lion. Nigga frying, they storm never lying. Uh, papaya, yeah, papaya. Wrote songs for Maya. People say they storms like Richard Fire, cause he's funny. Make him laugh, aftermath. Take him like a bath, they storm. I got the wrath of Khan. Word is born, I'm about to kill it, uh. Uh, uh. What's that word? Arraignment. <laughs> yeah, it's an arraignment. Yeah, plain meant to hit the ground. Went back up. They storm, never shut up. I got the cup of coffee. No, I'm not a softy. They storm, I'ma eat you like a frost. That's it, that's it. All we need is three. Yeah. Okay, my bad. My bad. All right, guys, I'm out. Hey. I'm just one minute. Third day. Okay, all right, all right. Enjoy all right. it. Let me know. All right, man.
You ready? Alright. Yeah. Yo, I get these girls wet like maxi pads. Send them home in a taxi cab. No Uber over here, girl. Respect, respect the world. Respect the world and every girl that lives in it. That don't rhyme, yeah, dude. I send it. I did it. I'm in it. I speak British, in it? Ooh! I had a date. I rolled up late. I had a crate. I put it in the first and then we ate. Ooh, took it home and then I ate. Ooh! Body count date. Ooh! And my classmate. Ooh! My teacher named Faith. Ooh! That's it. What? The, I'm still going? Oh, that was the fuck words. is taxidermy? Uh, I know what man is Woo! Oh. Uh, <laughs> you got time for one more? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's one do more. it. We're gonna change got, it up. We're gonna hit you, you got, some you some more? some uh, some reggae. Uh, Ooh. Some reggae. Ooh. Oh, reggae. Wagwan, wagwan, wagwan. Why y'all do dear? Why y'all do dear? Ah, uh, the reggae homes. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, randomness. I'm a stand in this. I used to watch the show, but scandalous. Uh, <laughs> that shit ain't even rhyme. Huh. Well, I'm gonna come back one more time, uh, yeah, these niggas got caught, Ooh. yeah, I told her what I bought, Ooh. yeah, I bought my dick to the game, dick why y'all doing, boy, got this other one saying, uh, yeah, yeah, things ain't gonna change, that's the words that put the ball for your brain, uh, Ooh, yeah, yeah. what my sight, all right, mercy, she ran out the words, what you heard, what you heard, <laughs> uh, what you heard? <laughs> I got a court summons, summons, yeah, I knew a man like Philip Drummond, Drummond, uh, I'ma keep them bumming. I'm bumming. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. That's I don't know. Good. Pump, pump, pumping all up over your stomach. I don't know. All right, guys, I'm out. All right, all right, all right. All right. Hey, Jordan, kill you, kill you, kill you. Those kill words, hard as fuck. Hey, yo, about. you just ran through like 40 words. That's pretty impressive. And they weren't easy words. They're really not. They're, They're not easy words. You didn't know how to read a few of them. I kind of because she you slammed some of the words together. <laughs> the L and the E, the L and the A was slapped together and looked like a D. Thank you for coming. Of I really course, appreciate I'm here. you taking the time out of your day. Come I'm hang here. out with us. Thank you, thank you, uh, Joy, and I really appreciated your perspective. I really, really appreciated your perspective. If I knew girls was thinking like that, ooh, bodies be up. They are thinking <laughs> like that. I know. That's how y'all all think. If that's how y'all really think, let DM. me know. Let me know in my DMs. Yeah. You know, nah, Don't no. let me know in my DMs because I'll get in trouble. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if I would have known if when I, I wasn't, known. and we got a prize for you, we got a present for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Joy, got? Joy ain't got something for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what's this? It's a, my body count. Got yeah. gifts on there. Eight thousand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A nigga just hopped up. <laughs> Oh shit, we got the boys Bose sound link speaker. What do I do? This is this waterproof too? Yeah. Damn. That's this episode of Guys Respect. My name is Melvin Gray. You can find me anywhere on social media at Melvin Gregg. Make sure you check out Day Storm. Where can they find you at Day Storm? Day Storm everywhere. Just Day Storm. And special thanks, Joy and Coleman. Where can they find you at? Instagram, Jordan underscore Coleman. The DM's about to go crazy. They about to Everybody lit. about to try to hop on that body count. They gonna be like, oh, I got it now. Selective, so. Selective, Selective body count. Flush. You, got, you, got to, you can't just be working at coach. You gotta be a manager. Yeah. <laughs> and that's this episode of Guys Respected. Thank you guys for checking it out. Make sure you tune in next week. We have a brand new guest. And um, that's it. <laughs>